Good morning. Today we are doing a work from home video. If you've been following me, I haven't done one now in about two years. So I wanted to show an up to date view of what my day to day looks like now since I work at a large software company. I found these videos to be super helpful when I was first starting out and trying to decide what field I wanted to be in for digital marketing. Did I want to be in Google ads? Facebook ads or SEO. Before I get into it, I do have my cup of tea that I just got ready. Favorite tea currently is those organic ginger turmeric herbal tea. And I found it's really good for inflammation. So I'll be drinking that. And then also I have my thermos with my hot water in it. And I also don't eat breakfast since I do intermittent fasting and I'm usually not hungry until lunch. So let's get into what I do in my digital marketing job. Every digital marketing job is different, whether you work in-house or in an agency, in a small company or a large company. I worked in many different types of companies from a small startup to a 60,000 person um, international agency. Um, I currently work at an international Fortune 100 company. And in my team, there's my direct manager. And then I have around six other team members that I communicate with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and we all have project boards for each specific client. And we keep track of the task, help each other with our workload. Every single morning, I will sign into the Google platform and check how much we are pacing. So if the client says that we can only spend $5,000 today, I will make sure we are on target to spend that amount. So here is a view of the Google Ads platform. And as you can see, we clicked into search keywords. For example, if meditation tips, that keyword has higher clicks, um, and has higher traffic, then we want to increase that max CPC from $1 to maybe 25% more and check again tomorrow. And then for age, we can also place a bid modifier on the highest age group, which is 25 to 34. And then next, if we check gender, we can see that females tend to click into this meditation tips ad group more so we can go ahead and increase the bin modifiers to make sure that we spend more today. And then at 10 a.m. I have a 30 minute meeting with the Google team partners to talk about how the accounts are going and you know, strategies that they can help us with. So I'll ask them for suggestions on keyword build. For example, if the client is focused on selling shoes, then we could ask them like, what are some popular generic sneakers keywords that they are seeing um, within Google ads? And they would provide that. At 11 a.m., I have a 30-minute meeting with my e-com client, and I will be letting them know how performance is, how pacing is. Um, currently, one of our projects is helping them transition their campaigns manual bidding to smart bidding, which is powered by Google's algorithm. So with going over performance, um, this is the summary tab. So we'll go over for each campaign type, such as display, search, video, discovery, how many clicks, impressions, what's the cost and the CPM and average cost per click. Um, this will let us know that which, for which campaign type did the best. So the lowest CPA would be discovery. Um, we only paid $11 cost per acquisition for discovery versus $106 for search. However, for search, got a lot more clicks here. For um, We can also look at each engine. So this is actually whited out um, for privacy reasons, but this is the same thing here. In this tab, we also look at each 
program specifically, and then month over month um, as cost increases with the blue line, um, conversions increase as well with this teal line. And then um, just looking at which month performed the best. So as you can see here, the month with the best conversions would be August. Yay, it's finally lunchtime. Feeling super hungry. I'm going to be making a gluten-free um, sardine sandwich, which is something that I usually eat every Try to eat once a week. Um, so the opening the sardines. I also love this Trader Joe's organic cold press green juice. It has um, cucumber, celery, grapefruit, lettuce, shard. Lemon, kale, spinach, parsley. So once I drink that, I feel really healthy. So I'll be going ahead and making that. noon to 2 p.m. for two hours. I will building out an Excel sheet to bulk upload over 1,000 ads um, for our countdown promotion. This usually takes me about an hour or two. I'll be using formulas such as VLOOKUP and needing to QA everything throughout the whole process. And then around 3 p.m. I will have a 30 minute meeting with my manager. This will be our dedicated one-on-one -on -one time and I'll talk through anything I need help with or any feedback he has for me. Now I wanted to answer some questions some viewers have. Um, the first question I wanted to answer is what is the work-life balance like? Um, so at Adobe we have unlimited PTO and usually at every single agency I've been in we've had unlimited PTO which is unlimited pay time off so you could take time off and it would still be paid for. We do have to make sure it does not overlap with other colleagues on our team. And I never had issues requesting time off or anything like that for uh, taking a break or going to a doctor's appointment. So for holidays, we did have to work a few hours on Thanksgiving and we had to work all day on Black Friday because Black Friday is one of the busiest times for e-commerce clients and they wanted to make sure that if day is doing really well, then we can spend more during that day to capitalize and try to be as profitable as possible. I've also had to work a few hours throughout Christmas break so we get around like seven days off um, that week of Christmas. I've also had to work a few weekends. Um, there are times we have to check in on pacing um, and it usually balances out because um, on some Fridays I could you know sign off at 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. or only work around four hours usually. The next question is how do I deal with stress? First of all I make sure to try to be as healthy as possible. I, exercising and eating healthy really decreases cortisol and that really helps with stress. I try to like run every day, usually around lunchtime or run after work. I also do a lot of um, healthy cooking and I don't 
think people factor in how important nutrition is in the grand scheme of things when trying to um, decrease stress. We have a nutritionist in-house that sends us weekly newsletters um, and how to like keep our meals healthy. I had a sardine sandwich for lunch is because fish is super healthy, lots of omegas. And I remember the types of fish to eat by this tip that she told us called SMASH, which stands for sardines, mackerel, anchovies, salmon, and H stands for herring. Mm. Those fish are low in mercury and they are some of the healthiest fish in the market. And go to Costco and get like cans of them or like order them off Amazon. Those in like sandwiches, pasta. Adobe also gave us a $600 a year fund for wellness. This could be used on anything from running shoes to gym classes to massages. Um, Adobe also gave us a learning fund of $1,000 and I got a book about stoicism, um, which is a philosophy on how to train your mind to deal with hardships to develop self-control and self-discipline. A quote that I really like is tough times don't last but tough people do because usually when you're having a difficult day or a difficult week after the difficult time ends it does get better. Well, there's a lot of wisdom in this book um, to help you gain resilience, be more confident, and be more calm during um, difficult times. So those are my tips. Hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next video.